and welcome to our first full day in Florida. Oh yes, it's very busy. Oh my god, look at that Christmas tree, Nick. <laughs> Back in Disney. Got yours. Yeah. Is it strong enough? Mm. Perfect, actually. Welcome to our first full day in Florida. It's about 11 a.m. I think, or to have 10 something like that. It's absolutely glorious outside. It's Christmas Eve. And I walked out this morning. Baza and Maxine have gone to Universal. They're staying there for Christmas. So they've got a few days there. I went outside this morning as they were leaving, and I. I walked into the sun and I was just like, this is the reason why we've come to Florida for Christmas. The sun is beautiful. I think it's about 18 at the moment, but it's, it's so sunny and it's going to get to about well, 22. It's, that. it's about 25, I'd say. Well, it's baking outside. It's beautiful. It's really nice. So we've got ready, we've creamed up uh, and everything. We're going to nip out to Walmart now because Nick just wants to have a look for a SIM card um, for his phone. And then I think we might nip down to celebration, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Just have a little little mooch uh, down there. We do have reservation for Epcot today, but we don't think we're going to go. We may do, we're not sure, but we believe it's going to be absolutely jam-packed there with it being Christmas Eve. Yes? Um, everything's in the car and the door's wide open. Go in it then. We'll follow this from the car, because I've got something to say. We're hopefully meeting our friend Vera today for a coffee, and um, we may be meeting um, Chris and Jane later at Winter Garden. Not sure, because they're flying off home tomorrow, um, so they might not have time. So lots. Just chilled things to do today, but we'll show you around Florida as we go. Can I just say that we put a post out on Instagram and social media last night telling people that we're here. Everybody is jumping to the conclusion that the fake Christmas was actually part of the plan. Yeah, it wasn't. wasn't that was all. already planned no. anyway. It we was were originally coming on the 13th of January, <clears throat> but we changed it, which is why I was on the phone to Virgin, mm -hmm. to the 29th of January. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Fe uh, December. December. And then the day before the kids came, we just said to each other, should we just go to Florida straight after the kids Let's just gone? get there before any kind of lockdowns come yep. into the UK and stuff like that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that won't happen. I don't think it will. But um, the other thing I wanted to say from yesterday... Wait a minute, so I haven't finished, mm. right? So, literally, we changed the booking um, the day before the kids came, and then Hannah and her kids came up, and we, had, we couldn't pack. And then we had one day to basically pack and get back to the airport. So it was all. So there was no planning at all, and we no. had to book. We had to book a separate car because it was more expensive to book yeah. to extend the existing booking. So we're here for five, six weeks, something like that. Something like that. And Baza and Maxim were very kind to say if you've not got anywhere to stay, as you come in sooner, please come and stay with us, and then go to Universal, etc. Yeah. Uh, we are here for about a week or so, and then we're moving into our next apartment. I just want to say. Because I mentioned it in the last vlog and I didn't um, follow it up. I'm now a believer in the magic band trick. It worked a trick. For getting through customs with a smiley face. I actually rolled my sleeve up and he went, oh, you're here for Disney? Yeah. And, and I went, yeah, we can't wait. And he was just like, stamp, stamp, stamp. And it was over. really nice. It was talking to us about Disney. So when you go through immigration in America, put a magic, put band, magic on. band on, make sure it's showing. No, and, and they seem to love it. That's happened twice now and they love it. So as, before we set off, I'm just going to show you Baza and Maxine's Christmas tree. Look at that. I look at that Starbucks um, oh, yeah. ornament. I love oh. that. So the guys have gone to Universal. They're there for three uh, nights, I think. They're spending um, Christmas there. Look at the uh, Universal bauble. Baza's got a lot of British things BB8. around his house. Yeah, British bauble. He has got a lot of British things around his house. I think these are Starbucks as well, aren't they? Yeah. Here they are. So he does actually want us to get us a, a 50. 50th anniversary Starbucks mug. From each of the four parks. Yeah, when we're going. Going. So if we see them, we're going to get them. Because they're blocked out at the moment, aren't they? And we've been here for less than 12 hours and yeah. we've already broke his toilet. <sighs> we'll be replacing it. Toilet seat. Nick cracked the toilet seat. It was all the food on the plane. I sat on the toilet seat and Nick cracked. I thought I'd fall in. Off to Walmart now for your bits and bats. Come on, need to see. Look at that blue sky. 
feel that sun through it, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. It it's is. It's hard to believe it's two degrees at all. I know, and it, well, Google says 22, the car says 73 Fahrenheit, whatever that is. Um, but it is Christmas Eve, I can't believe it. it We're in another country at Christmas, <laughs> we've never look at, done it before. Look at these houses here, and look at some of the um, Christmas things outside. All the houses, well not all them, but oh, there, look at that massive um, horse. There's one thing that Americans do, with they it's always Christmas, do things yeah. tenfold what well, we and Thanksgivings. Brits. Brits are always too reserved yeah. and conservative and Americans just throw themselves into yeah. it and just get on with it. And all the entrances to all the like uh, resorts are, what do you call them resorts? Complexes. Um, complexes, they're all done up and last night when we were, we were driving down they were all lit up, it's just so beautiful. Um, so we're heading down to Walmart now, uh, close to Celebration, is that yeah. correct? So we can have a look down there, obviously we won't be able to see the lights in Celebration today. But we'll have a look at what the houses are all um, trimmed up like. And I, I want to see some lights tonight with it being Christmas Eve, so I don't know where we'll go. It gets, what time did it get dark last night? About half past uh, five? About half past five, so, like that. Yeah, it gets dark quite soonish, so we'll be able to choose somewhere to go and see some Christmas lights. Well, the plan today is to go for my SIM card, yeah. then um, Might go be to Celebration Disney Springs and get my um, annual passes. That's that as well, yeah. And then possibly we've got go to Epcot. Yeah. Because I know there's a lot of people in Epcot today that oh what's this in? There's a lot of people in Epcot today that um that we know or or, or yeah. people have asked to sort of meet us, so we are gonna sort of go down there and just chill and see how busy it is. Try some snacks maybe. Just realised as we sat at these um traffic lights that we've never been in an Applebee's and I don't actually know what it is. It's like a chain restaurant, but yeah, I don't know what it is. I think they do like a, a dish that's like um, like a favourite, like you know how um, Outback Steakhouse do spit the out, spit it out. Out. Yeah, they do something with like an apple or something. I think I don't know though. So we're on the one nine two. We'll have to explore it. And then yeah, we'll, we'll have to explore it. Uh, oh, there's a paneer of bread there. Oh, well, we we may go rock and, brews, rock, rock and brews. brews. Yeah, that's a nice place to go. Love that. Um, Sunset Walk, Island H two O. Yeah, this is where this is the last place we met. We saw Chris and Jen, wasn't it? Uh, not here. When we said goodbye in the car park at Margaritaville. At Margaritaville, yeah, which is yeah. just next door if I'm not mistaken. Yes it is. Yes. And we had gone to the English pub, is that correct? Uh, can't in remember the what corner. it was called. The Cask and Lion, was it? Yeah, or something perhaps. like that. I can't remember. Um, so, it is two years ago. It is two years ago, yeah. So we're heading to Walmart, just around the corner now. So we're going for a SIM card for Nick's phone uh, because he doesn't have any data over here. Now all the like the roaming uh, things have changed. I've still got data on mine uh, because I've not changed contract recently. So we saw on Amazon a SIM card which has all you can use data, like unlimited data, $38. But because it's Christmas, it, they won't deliver until next week. So we're just going to nip into Walmart, see if they've got any. And um, If so not, then we'll try Target. Yeah. And then on to celebration. It's an excuse for shopping. This is the queue to get into Walmart. We have been warned by Vera that it'll be rammed. Well, they might be going for petrol, you never know. People's going for last minute Christmas presents because it's Christmas Eve. Well, let's hope they're going for petrol. And also, there's a new Starbucks there, which wasn't there before. I'm going to keep going on about this and probably get boring, but oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. 25 now. <laughs> I can't believe it's Christmas Eve and it's this weather. Oh, yes. It's very busy for Christmas Eve, so we, hopefully if we do get some card we can pay this little entertainment bit at the back. Right, here's all the um, SIM cards, choices, unlimited, unlimited talk, text and data, $25 a month, but it's only, you get your first one gig of data at high speed, then 2G. So Nick's looking at these AT&Ts and even at this um, electrical station, uh, pay, check out. The uh, queues are quite large going all the way down there. Right, we, we couldn't get what we uh, wanted. We do need some other bits, but there's no way we're uh, going to queue in all these queues, so we're going to get out of here. Head to Celebration, there's a T-Mobile shop there. <laughs> it is Christmas Eve, what do you expect? So we're just going up to the Red Lion, where we stayed in 2019 when we drank the world. Well, it's not the Red Lion It's now. not the Red Lion anymore. Um, it looks like the... F oh yeah, it looks a lot nicer now, a lot classier. Oh, look at all the trees. Yeah, yeah look, look at all the trees up. It's called Main Gate Village. And that looks nice. I don't think it's nice. for holiday no. I think it's for people that want to live there. Yeah. So we're uh, just heading down to Celebration now. Down here, probably get a coffee. We'll have a look at the Market Street Diner, which is no longer the Market Street Diner. We'll just have a look what's there now. Um, I had rumours that though somebody was reopening it under a different name. Yeah. So we'll have a look, see if that's happened yet. And uh, maybe it's Cold Stones. Okay. It's been two years since I've had a Cold Stones. 
Right, we've just been into the T-Mobile store and it's sorted. So it was $50 plus tax, which came to about $64 for 30 days unlimited data. And you can top it up like a page ago. Yeah. So, so they didn't even take my name. It was literally just what we call page ago. They call prepaid. Free. Yeah. You've got fluff on your chin again. It's from this mask, what I keep wearing. She set it all up for him in the, in the uh, uh, shop, put the sim in for him, did all the settings. So he's now got 30 days unlimited data, yep. which will be good for us when we go to our next place. Because I don't think it's got internet, so we can use that to upload some vlogs. I'll get the fluff. So we're very close to celebration. We're just going to go across the road first, though, because there's a paneer of bread here, oh, and we do have about that sandwich, that chicken sandwich yeah. that we had two years ago. Can you remember? Yeah, we've got a little bit of uh, some vouchers that we've had for two years, and we're going to uh, have lunch there, and then we'll go for a coffee and celebration and Yummy. look at the Christmas decorations. Here we are. I probably always say it wrong, but paneer of bread. That's how I I say. It. In fact, I usually call it paneer of bread. Um, so it's been a while. It's been a while. I can't. It's been that long. I can't even remember what I usually order from here. Can you go in? It says a drive through but... It says a drive through but I assume you can go in, yeah. Right, let's go. Anyway, so they've got touch screens now to order. Because I haven't got a clue what I want. In the menu, then. Well, it'll come up here, right? Oh, you've got to sign in. Hmm. Continue with the guest. Oh, yeah, there we go. Build your own. Oh, we don't want any of that. We want sandwiches. Yeah. Have we got any festive stuff? Maybe. Half a roast chicken. Mm. Right, Nick's just doing our order there, uh, so I'll just quickly show you around. So they do do cakes and buns and stuff, but we're going for the co combo, which is half a sandwich and well, I'm getting a salad. You can also get soup with it as well. They've got a few festive things like signature hot chocolate, cinnamon crunch latte, and they've got a nice Christmas tree. Well, you can't moan about service. Yeah. We only just placed that two minutes ago. So. How much was all that? $27. 29 including tax. For half a sandwich, I got roast ham, I think it is, or turkey actually, I think it is. Uh, half a Caesar salad and an apple and my sweet tea. What uh, do you think about it? 30 quid for a sandwich. Well, $30? $30, it's still yeah. a lot. Yeah, but it's not just a sandwich, it's a, uh, you've got a nice oh God, looking salad. Amazing. Wow, well, that looks nice. I want one of these, whatever they are. Natural. So you got, what did you get for your uh, sandwich? Um, I can't remember. Some well, kind of that's nice and helpful. Some kind of turkey. Oh, I've been dreaming about that. That salad is the most amazing salad. The salads in America are not like salads in the UK. No. They're always definitely calorie laden, and that had some kind of balsamic glaze, but it also had like ranch dressing mixed they're, in with it. They're actually not too bad calorie wise. I was look, I was checking the calories of them. I didn't bother looking at mine. I didn't. Mine were only about two hundred seventy smart. So it was delicious. So the SIM card that I got on my phone, it's basically a 30 day T-Mobile SIM, which I got from a T-Mobile shop. I paid $64 because I couldn't get the one off Amazon in time for Christmas, which was the same thing for $38. So if you are planning on coming out here and your contract doesn't support it, get yourself a SIM ordered and have it delivered maybe to your hotel or your villa. Right, where's next? Celebration, just behind us. So um, where's the building that looks like the Marvel Hotel in uh, Paris? There. Oh yeah, you can just see it kind of over there. It looks exactly like um, Marvel, New York Marvel Hotel in uh, Disneyland Paris. Right, heading into Celebration. That's the first lot of um, Christmas decks. Not, no, not as many as I thought there would be. I Maybe thought... they make more of a Halloween issue of a Halloween yeah. than they do, but we are only on the outskirts, so... I thought there'd be absolutely tons here from what I've been seeing. I mean, they've got like... I mean, yeah, you might see more at everywhere. night when they've got lights up. Well, yeah. It probably does look a lot more impressive in the evening. Yeah. Even though we've been away for two years, it seems like yesterday know, we does, were driving down does. here. And is this where our um, hairdressers are? Look at all the candy canes on all the balconies. Uh, love it. We've got some of them over at the lodge, the candy canes. I love how you're saying how our, 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 I love how our hairdressers, yeah, that's it. our barbers is down here. Yeah. It's for when we move over here, when we move to um, Celebration. Oh, look at that. It's like, um, oh, it's like a nativity. Yeah. It's like the one on Home Alone where he runs in front of the church and hides. We'll have to walk up there and, and mm -hmm. drop the Well, you could park here. Well, we can do, yeah. A golden nativity. Yeah, that's impressive. Is that supposed to represent, like... Is that Joseph? Yeah, well, yeah. And Mary and yeah. then baby Jesus? Yeah. It lights up, it on, lights a night, up on a night. I bet it's brilliant. We'll have to come back here on an evening. Yeah. Probably not tonight, but we will do. Well, it's Christmas Eve tonight. Yeah. The real Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, Eve. but it's really... I wonder if they have any, like, um, like services say, and stuff like that. Oh, my God. It'll be like Hallmark. It'll be like being in a Hallmark movie. Oh, my God, it's there. Look. What? Christmas Eve service. Yeah, but you'd have to go in the church. It won't be like yeah. out here. Well, of course. 
The wise men did not need GPS to find Jesus, you don't either. Christmas Eve services. Nick's just on the phone to Vera um, and we're just passing S. Todd Barber, which is where we always get our hair cut if we need to uh, have a haircut here. Uh, so uh, there we go. Probably will be going in there as well at some point over the next month because I can't last a month without having my hair cut. Oh my god, look at that Christmas tree, Nick. <laughs> And the gingerbread men as well. Yeah, we do need to come on a night. Oh, yeah, a little ice skating rink. Ice skating, that's what this is for. Yeah. boots. Yeah. Love it. Can't be real ice, that, No, it's one of those plastic ice skating rinks. Oh, you can smell cinnamon. Cinnamon's been pumped out somewhere. It's probably from this deli, yeah. Yeah. Look at the size of that bell. It's like the one from... Um, oh, it's a big bell. Polar Express. Oh, yeah. There we go, that's a better view in the sun. That is a big Christmas tree, but that looks amazing on a night. It's like it's amazing. <laughs> it feels like Christmas now. Look at yeah. it all up up there. Where? The balcony. Oh, yeah. With all the blue tints, yeah. like, like a frozen land. The smell, they're pumping some out somewhere. Yeah. You can smell like, like really strong cinnamon smell. So let's have a look what Marketplace Diner is now. It oh, looks like it says, um, oh, Downtown Diner. Oh. oh, so it's still, still similar. So, shall we have a coffee while we're here? Well, we might as well sample it and see what they yeah. do for breakfast. Oh, it's getting a bit windy. It looks exactly the same as it did before. So, that's nice. We're just going to have a coffee and maybe share a cake or something. That doesn't really change. No, it day. just looks the same. I can smell cinnamon again. Can you smell it? I just, it's like, it's like really strong, perfumey smell. So uh, we're sat here, we've just ordered a decaf coffee with half and half, and I'm just looking at the menu, and it's actually the exact same menu as the Market Street Even Diner. The actual, the, they've actually used the same like, The menu, formatting, yeah. I mean, the sides, these are, these are the sides that we used to order, the sausage patties, oh, yeah. the bagels, oh, yeah. they're all exactly the same. So we're gonna have to come down here and at least try breakfast, see how, we, see how it compares. Coffee, cream, half and half. Half and half. Are we gonna, are we gonna try a, a bun off them to share? Uh, lemon meringue pie to share. Typical, typical. <laughs> With Christmas Eve, the they've run out of pies. Run out of all pies. All, all pies. No desserts, no cakes. Yeah, the coffee is absolutely amazing. That was delicious. We do need to try it for breakfast, though. Yeah. Now then, let's see if we can get a rocking chair. Well, there's only one. Look, I'll let you have it because you're a grandpa. Right now. Like a lot of like Disney vloggers and stuff that are like, oh, Magic Kingdom. They don't come here. But this for me is just so much more. It's so peaceful and quiet and it's so, so cool, yeah. bloody warm. So just relaxing and just non-Disney, I just love it. Let's go and get some bikes and bike round celebration. Oh, it's too, it's too Our joking. There is a Starbucks here as well. There's always been a Starbucks here. I know, but if anybody that kind of like doesn't want independence and likes chain coffees, there is a Starbucks. Getting a few photos for Instagram, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at thelodgeguys.com. It'll appear here right now. Can you remember when we went into that bakery and thought it were actually human food? <laughs> and it's dog food. And it's, dog, it's a doggy bakery. I do remember. And we went in looking for stuff and we were like, wait a minute. Like things are shaped in dog bones and stuff. Yeah. Where's the uh, ice cream shop that we yeah. went in though? I think we went on ice cream Oh yeah, we did actually. I think we did that in January 20. I can't remember. I think so. One thing I will say is here is not the same as home in terms of the pandemic. People are wearing masks, quite a lot of people actually, more than I thought they would do. But there's no doom and gloom, nobody's talking about it, people are just getting on with it. it well, it's it's hard to believe that there is like a pandemic yeah. around the world, but people here are just living their lives and getting on with it. Well, it's In the UK, it's all about the, the, oh, don't do this, don't do that, we're going for a lockdown. There's none of that concept here. I mean, everybody's being safe, yeah. as safe as they can, but... It's because it's outdoor living as well. You can get outside so you can get away from people. Yeah. Next scene in Uzzin Epcot, like rammed with a thousand people. We'll see. Lee just helping a family out, taking some photos. So warm, yeah. So warm, so beautiful. Right, so we spent quite a lot of this um, vlog saying we probably won't go to any parks um, for a I week or so. That. Well, I've been saying that. But uh, we are going to go to Epcot now. Going to activate our annual passes. Just see what the crowd level's like. See if we can get, have a quick walk around the World Showcase. Well, our annual pass is the old Platinum Pass, which you can't buy anymore. So yeah. I'm hoping that what they'll do is they can take off the Memory Maker, upgrade it to the Incredi Pass, 
Um, we want the water packs and as well. get the water packs added yeah. on. So it might mean we either get some money back or we pay a supplement, but that's what we want to do. So fingers crossed, you'll see in the next couple of scenes what Epcot is like at Christmas Eve. No, no, no. We'll do a speed up scene of his getting there with oh. the, uh, the the typical music that we've always used before for Disney speed up scenes. Do 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 do. Not quite. Huh. Right, we're just listening to some Christmas music oh, while it's that. 24 degrees outside and now we are heading to Epcot it is 14 minutes away just had to interrupt that speed up scene for that look oh, at those massive God. Mickey's I bet they cost a fortune. There's a third one that's flat. Okay, back to Epcot. Here we go. Walt Disney World sign. It's the first time we've seen it in blue for the um, 50th anniversary of the most magical place on earth. For two years we've dreamt of this moment of driving through that archway. The most famous archway in the world probably. Here we go. Here we go. Back in Disney. Ah. Right, so we're heading into Epcot and we're hoping that uh, you can see that we've got our annual passes to collect and that we can get free parking. So Nick's gonna have to Thanks Google. Nick's gonna have to do a little bit of explaining because it's on the app. But not think, the magic band. But it's not our magic band, so Nick's just going to have to explain that we're going to activate our annual passes and fingers crossed the guest services line isn't like round and round spaceship earth. So far it doesn't look too busy getting in. I think maybe a lot of people are assuming that it's going to be busy because it's Christmas Eve. Uh, well, I'm sure and it will therefore be. are avoiding it. Or unless maybe, they're already ahead of us. Or maybe people's waiting until tonight so they can watch the fireworks. Right, you go. So the parking at the moment is $25 for a standard, $50 for preferred, $25 for motorcycle, and $30 for oversized vehicles. So it hasn't increased in two years no. now, has it? Okay, so you just scanned Nick's magic band and he said annual pass and they're like straight in. So it must have come up on our thing as if we have got annual passes. Yeah, well we have, but we're just not active. Yeah, we just need to activate them now. In oh, look at the size of, um, oh there we go, it's Pishy Bird. Um, I don't know why I'm saying, look at the size of the <laughs> so Guardians. The no, size. not the Spaceship Earth. The Guardians, it looks bigger. Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, ride. It's the same size building, it's just yeah. painted a different colour blue again. There are a lot of cars right back here. Oh man, do you know it's empty over there? Man, you've got to walk because there's no monorail. Yeah. Uh, no, um, you can just see here. the Disney Springs balloon over there. Is it called Panama Kia as well or not? Uh, no, it's called Era Foil or something like that here. Not too bad. I think we've parked this far back before, haven't we? So we're just yeah. walking down. There's no monorails at the minute at Epcot. I think they're only at Magic Kingdom, are they, at the minute? I think they've just reacted, uh, just restarted them at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Epcot will be next. Monorail, 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 monorail. Monorail, monorail. The Epcot ball with Christmas music playing. <gasps> Love it. Never thought I'd see the day. Love it. Right, so first time in a park. Um, as it was like at Disney Springs last night, there's no bag checks anymore. You just kind of hold your things out, walk through with your bag, through the scanners, and they just let you in. It was the same at Disney Springs last night. Yeah, much easier. Right, so we're going to look for a loo and then go to guest relations over there and sort us park Reference passes out. There, right, we're in the line for guest relations. Not too bad here. So we're going to try and convert to the Incredi Pass. Um, I think that's what it's called. And then uh, get in the back. Right, as passes are all sorted, so we're heading in. It's the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays at the moment. Right, we're in. So we'll explain all about our annual pass once we... Um, oops, let me just get out with this memory maker photo. When we get in, so we're just going to head in, probably get a photo pass here, and uh, then see what the crowd levels are like. Right, so you've probably all seen on the vlogs by now, but obviously that is new since we came last time, the crystal... Um, ah, I never even noticed the fountains were actually as well. Yeah. Shall we go and have a quick look? Yeah, we've got to see this on the night though, because it's, it's yeah. better when it's all lit up. Well, I think we're going to do something festive tonight. I don't know what, but we are. And the crowd levels don't look too bad here. No. So, this is new for us. Very, very flat, isn't it? Yeah. That takes a lot of cleaning. Minnie Mouse is there. 
so it looks like the uh, characters are still social distancing. Oh, I'm not even sure there's a uh, hi, a queue. She's just kind of waving to everybody. Hello. Right, so Christmas Eve, Spaceship Earth is a 50 minute standby. Can't eat, Nick? I won't wait five minutes on that. Right, you've just got to watch where you're going in um, Epcot because I think we've come to a dead end. Going to the right of Spaceship Earth, I don't know where they're coming out of. I think that's where we came out of when we did a tour, the behind the scenes tour. Um, but we've, we've hit a dead end, so we're going back. Right, we're just walking towards World Showcase. I fancy a snack. You fancy a snack? I do, yeah. Oh, festival of the holidays, isn't it? It's not going to last forever. So um, we've what just had a look at the standby time for um, uh, for soaring, and it's only 40 minutes. So after this, we're, we're probably going to chance it. At least do one ride today. Yeah, we're not getting Genie Plus. No, today, we are going to test Genie Plus though later on in the uh, in the holiday. But um, everybody said today it was going to be really, really busy, and so far. There's not many crowds, as you can see over there. There's quite a lot of people near Mexico. And the Christmas tree. And uh, where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll definitely go and have a look. And then um, Canada looks quite busy. But we'll have a look when we get round and see what it's like. Mela Kalikimaka Holiday Kitchen. But the food choices look shy. Don't fancy any of them. Me neither. What on earth is that? It's the bloody Stargate. It's a freaking Stargate! It just looks like it. It's just like a Stargate. And what is that monstrous 50 thing floating there? Nick's not watched... Well, I've shown him little bits. I haven't seen anything. but he's not seen anything. Get out of the sun, you're glaring. Um, so, there's the spoilt view of... What a bag of shite. It's a good show though, I've seen it on YouTube. Well, it's a good show. it'd be much better if them sank. Got some holiday half desserts here. So we've got peppermint bark, snowball cookies, mouse crunch, gingerbread cookies, salted caramel spaghetti birth cookie. That's the one that I'd have. Looks like a packet of Fox's biscuits with fancy icing. Red velvet mini bunt. We're not going to go for any of those. Nah, that looks like a bowl of Cheerios. Some poutines at the refreshment part. Turkey poutine, fresh fries with turkey gravy, cranberry relish and crispy onions for nine dollars. Chips and gravy at top one. Yeah. Traditional chips and gravy with a fancy name. And cheese curds, whatever they are. Just lumps of cheese, I think. Right, well we can't not get some snacks while we're in Epcot, so we're going to go for beef bourguignon and a Snickles, Snickers doodle cookie. Um, and this is from the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. Is this in Canada? It's classed as Canada, this yeah. bit. Yeah. I think, well, I don't know, because somebody said that we never completed the uh, Drink, Drink the World because the refreshment spot there is just out. outside of Canada. Yeah. But it's close enough. Right, so beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon. And uh, the Snickers doodle cookie, which doesn't actually look too bad. It's only $2.50. Right, I need to Instagram this. Wait a minute. Come on, Garnet, get it tried. It's um, beef, red wine, mash, chives, what looks like, carrots. Oh my god, that is beautiful. <sighs> Let me try it. It's a little salty, but it's absolutely beautiful. Did you get a big chunk like that? No! Chop it in half. It's all so beautiful, actually. Oops. Oh my god. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Very, very nice. Oh my god. That's from Yukon Holiday Kitchen. Definitely recommend that. Of garlic in that. Mm. Right, snickerdoodle cookie, which is made with obviously Snickers, Snickers and some doodles. Some doodles and some cookies. Right, let's try this. Careful, you don't spill it. Does it tastes like Snickers. No, not really. Nice though. Yeah, delicious. Right, we're gonna go and chance of getting on soaring. It's a 40 minute wait time. It's actually been fluctuating between 60. 40 minutes and it's at its lowest at the minute so we're going to head over there now and get in the standby queue it's definitely worth it are you going to cry no wow well, that's a distance character meet so that's like a hundred yards away shaking his christmas miracles right here we are soaring nick was just saying the amount of times in lockdown where we just said wish we could just go on soaring and now we're here the thing is for for, for here it's just it's been carrying been on. Here, but yet we've been well, apart, like yeah, apart from a couple of months when it locked down. Three months shut out down. two years they've been, they've, been, they've been closed down. The rest of it's been open while we've been locked down. Yeah. Right, there we go. 40 minutes standby. Not too bad, I don't think, for Christmas Eve. Here we go. Down into Soaring. Okay, we're on B, but we're on the third row, so we're going to be like higher than everybody else. So, still a good position. It's better than the either side. Right, we're just about to board. So we're in this one. Right. 
Are you ready? Are you excited? It's been so long. I know, you're going to cry, aren't you? Right, we're all strapped in. Have you tugged on the yellow tog? You don't really want to touch it. Tug on your tog. You've got to touch it. You've got hand sanitizer when you get off. So there are hand sanitizers everywhere when you're actually getting on and off rides. So it's not too bad. As long as you don't put your fingers in your mouth between touching things, it's all right. And um, you've still got to wear your masks inside everywhere. So we're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. is actually when it's what it's going to look like when it's completed i think i can't remember it's been so long since i've seen it gets me when over epcot and the fireworks come up and i got a little teary but it didn't, didn't get cry. teary didn't right we're heading out to starbucks in um, epcot to try and get Baza one of his um, collector mugs because they collect them all okay. so we forgot to walk we forgot to call in when we went past we're just going to walk back and then we're going to head back to the house chill for a bit and then later on tonight we're going to head up to Winter Garden to look at the Christmas decorations which Stacey and Chris have described as like a Hallmark movie. Right so we went to the Starbucks and um, this has got nothing to do with Starbucks I'm just showing you the poinsettias. Say, <laughs> about went to Starbucks but the merchandise is actually in what's it called? Port of Entry. Uh, port, port, I, can't remember. I think it was Port of Call or Port of Entry which is like the new merchandise uh, store here. But anyway, that's a sign. Yeah, that's the poinsettias. So. Oh, I've got one thing to say about soaring as well. The, the smells were a lot more intense. They seemed a lot more intense. Through the masks, yeah. they were really, really strong this time. Not as strong as that I've ever smelled one like that before. Yeah. Right, where's this point of entry? No idea. Or port of entry, I think it is. We're walking back to Starbucks because it's straight across from it, apparently. Well, I've... We thought it was the merch shop over where uh, Mouse Gear was. Wasn't it called, being called Port of Entry? I thought it was like at the entrance. It was literally straight across from Starbucks. It must be that one that we've been in a thousand times, you just didn't know the name of it. Yeah, well, we don't really get merchandise, do we, so? Right, here we are at the Starbucks uh, merch, but I don't think this is the one that uh, Baza wants. It's the small, the, like the big, smaller oh. mug. Oh. Not that, so I'm going to go and ask, but I don't think they've got any. Right, they have sold out of that one, unfortunately, so we're, we'll keep looking. And um, right, we're heading back to the car now, going back for a chill. Right, so this is new for us, Creation Shop, although I, th I think this is the new... What, well, it used to be mouse gear, didn't it, this? Well, same area, yeah. Yeah. It's all the way around, it's all the new bits. Wow, it's massive. Although, it's nice it used to be massive before as well. Um, as Nick did say, we don't really buy that much merch. I like looking at it. But we don't buy much, but I will show you. The Not today. We buy. The stuff that's, that we would the odd thing like we buy, yeah. And a couple of t-shirts and hoodies oh. and things like that. I like that, actually. Oh, God. A Walt Disney 50th. Yeah. Let me just have a look. If it's like a, just a journal. Yeah, yeah. like it. So we'll be coming in more merch shops on this trip, but uh, not just now. Yeah, we will, we will. Oh, yeah, we don't have to walk back again. Yeah. Well, look where we are. You've got to get to the other side of the ball over there. Oh, you are kidding me. Bye then. We can't get that way out. Exit's over there. And there's a big wall. No wonder you put like a thousand million steps on at Disney. Well, we just walked back again and we've just seen another sign that says exit this way. So we'll which we shouldn't have seen, which we should have seen on the wall there the first time we walked down. Do you want to go on Mission Space while we're down here? I do not. Right, so it looks like there is an exit down here. Down past Mission Space and Test Track, and then left where the old back of, what it, well that was Mouse Gear, wasn't it, that shop there? I think so, yeah. I think so. So you can get out here. And then obviously there's the Space Restaurant. I've just spotted my first big Joffrey's Donut. Where? There in that Joffrey's stand. Oh, I know, but I want some nice not food now. tonight. Not now, yeah, not now. Maybe tomorrow. Finally made it to Spaceship Earth, so we're almost out. 
It is a bit of a maze at the minute, Epcot, but it has been for a couple of years now. Yeah. One thing we need to try is the um, the, the new Disney space. Pass. Oh yeah. Through uh, the annual pass using your mobile phone. Oh, can you do that? Try that tomorrow. What, I instead of I set it up quite a while ago, but it's still active in my Google Pay. Instead of your magic band, you mean? Yeah. That's a harsh light. So, we have decided, as usual, to do something completely different than what we said. We're going to lights on... Jeddah Bend. Is it Jeddah? Genta Bend or something like that. Genta Bend? Something like that, you tell me. It's in Celebration and it's this like street in Celebration that do all Christmas lights. Like ridiculous fire, yeah. poly, poly uh, so we felt we'll go and... there tonight instead of Winter Garden because um, Chris and Jen uh, are flying off tomorrow so we won't get to see them because they're packing and stuff like Jetta that. Jetta Bend. Um, so we'll see you in Jeta Bend. Winter Garden another night, probably tomorrow night, hopefully. Well Chris and Jen aren't back until January. No. Uh, so we shall go there and then at least then we can go down Celebration at night as well you know, and see the... Yes. And I also want to try Cheddar's. Where's that? Or Yard House. Where's that? It's off the 192. Come on then. Two people's recommended it on our Discord Disney group mm. uh, chat, chat channel. Yeah. And I want to try them. Apparently Cheddar's is really nice, but Yard House is nicer. Okay. So we'll see which of us closest. Wow. That person's gone for it. Wow, I love that. And some more there. So we're, we're heading into celebration now. It just makes you think that Brits are so bleeding. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see something like that, yeah. and then you see like decorations in the UK. It's like they just don't compare. That. That's so nice. Look at that street. No big Mickey there again. Oh, like little Mickey. Little oh Santa sleigh. Where? Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think we'll know we're here when all the lights start getting intense. Yeah. Right, we need to put more lights for lodging. <laughs> you have to do it just now. Just not listening right, to you with your little mini trees. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait till we get round to that. This is it. Wow. We are definitely putting more lights up at the lodge next year. Yeah, but how long it must take to do something like that. Yeah, but look at the look at the joy that people are think, they're getting from it. That is stunning. Like, like, it's like the bloody Grand Floridian. <laughs> Continue on Celebration there. Avenue for half a mile. Is this where we're actually going to? No, oh, but I think it's goodness. getting more and more intense. These are amazing. They just... It's weird though, but it still doesn't feel like Christmas Eve. Even with all these No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like Christmas lights. Eve at all. I mean, it looks like Christmas. I mean, I've, I've looked on a video online and apparently it snows in the street here when they do this and they have Christmas music playing oh, so it might that bring house. that Christmas feeling on. Christ almighty. These are the best decorations I've ever it's seen. Stunning. Wow. Oh look at that. Stunning. Millennium Falcon. And uh, that's all Star Wars. I mean everybody always knows like in the UK that Americans do Christmas big style but it's a completely different experience seeing it in real life. I mean, that's just a house. Somebody's done all that to add their house. That's amazing. It must have taken them like weeks to do that. And I don't envy, I don't envy them taking it all down. They probably started that in July. Yeah. Right, I think yeah. we found the right street. God, yeah. <laughs> what makes you think? I, didn't even, I don't even need to look for the sign. I know this is the right street. Oh my God. Let me put it on a bit, bit of snow there. Also known as bubbles. Oh, there's like a big bubble machine down there. So, uh, imagine living in these houses. No, look at the found the Christmas in the window. I know. There. With like proper, they put LCD screens and, and at the door as well.
Right, so I think that was the main bit where all the like um, lights twinkling and you know, you, as you saw. And, I'm playing now. But then, yeah, this is just further down in the street. That the, look at that! I just can't get over it. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> because there's that many, again, many again, things. Right, it's like it's just too well, insane. Right, I think we've got to the end. Almost. A few bits of bats in this house. And then a few over there. And yeah, it kind of goes around. So we're going to head back down the street again. I enjoyed that. I love it. It looks so cosy in some of the houses, doesn't it? There's one house that's on the road where we parked and it just wants, you just want to, well, we'll show you when we go back. You just, just want to get sit on there. the porch yeah. and literally just sit there and just listen to Christmas music and yeah. open Christmas presents and drink mulled wine. <laughs> This is the house that Nick wants to get on the year. Uh, it reminds me of the TV series <laughs> North and South, but Christmassy and cosy. Doesn't it, you? It does look very cosy. I've never seen North and South, it but it does very, look like very cosy. The end of the 18th century, 19th century, I think. Big baubles there and all. Yeah, very cosy that. I bet it's nice and cosy inside. You see, more light. The more you light you put on a tree, the better it looks. Right, we're heading down into Celebration Centre where the tree was this morning. I want to see it all lit up. These are actually better than. Yeah, being, some of um, these are fantastic. Better than that. That's a bit of a push, y'all. I love to on see. Left. Yeah, just like one. I love to see trees like this, like properly wrapped. I love them stars. We could do that. We could do that on the tree in the back garden at the lodge yeah. and move them up all year. It would look just as good. Yeah, there's another one there. That's Santa Claus. Mickey Mouse and a little Minnie Mouse. That's the one we went past earlier. Yeah, wasn't it? maybe earlier today. Yeah, we came out of this drive here and came down here. Right, that's the main street of celebration. Well, we, we class it as the main street of celebration anyway. Um, just wait for them to cross the road and then we'll go in. It looks like there's lots of people near the ice skating rink. I'm going to see if we can park up and uh, go and have a little mooch. Here we are, celebration on Christmas Eve. This is busy. Ice skating. In 20 degree hot sun. But it's getting a bit cold, cooler now actually, isn't it? It's getting a... Not cold though, yeah. in the slide. It's not, well, it's not... It's getting a bit cooler. It's getting a bit cooler. Not many people in masks on it, There's the tree lit up. I'll go down here, see if we can see anything over the lake, see if it's all lit up. Looks like it's been snowing here. <laughs> what kind of oh my goodness, that's a pizza place. Look at the size of the pizzas that they're bringing out. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet something like that is so much better than Blaze Pizza. It like... looks like snow. I know. Pick it up, have a try, have a try mind you. It looks I think it's bubbles. like foam, yeah. Not that many lights on down here. Well, apart from all those. But, Can you uh, remember? Yeah, go on. When we came two years ago, when we walked, went for the bike ride, we walked past somewhere and I said, oh, that looks like a nice place to eat. But yeah. I don't what kind of place it was. Well, I think it was just sort of there or somewhere. Like a Mexican or something, wasn't it? I can't remember. So, uh, quite a lot of people over there near the, what used to be like, this used to be a cinema, I think, didn't it? I think but it a long, long time ago. In the 60s. Looks very back to the future. Yeah. Right, Nick is currently in the pizza shop ordering a pizza so we can take it back because we're getting really tired now. It's only about half seven or so, but it's, it's starting to uh, 
kicking now the tiredness the jet lag um, and I'm just waiting for it to snow again I'm presuming the snow comes from these boxes here um, because that's where it is and I can't see anything else that it's coming from there's like box there box there 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 and some above me so I hope it snows while I'm studying it so I told Nick to go for the 14 inch pizza, he decided to go for the 10 inch and it's come out trying to be healthy. a little bit uh, small. It's like a Ritz biscuit. <laughs> so that's the tea for tonight. I can see fireworks, I wonder if it's, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's the Epcot ball, all lit up. It looks amazing. Yeah, we're so small, we're so close to it. Yeah, wow, it looks amazing. Also that must be Epcot then, uh, yeah. that's got the fireworks on. That pizza was delicious, just a little bit small. We're back. Such we're flagging. It's eight o'clock. Twenty past eight. We're flagging. Um, so we're coming. We still haven't adjusted to, from UK timeline yet. Got these from Publix yesterday. We're going to have these now. We're going to go sit down and we're going to go watch the Matrix, the new Matrix film. No, we're not. Are we not? You fall asleep within ten minutes. Oh well, we'll watch some. Baz has got HBO Max, so that he gets some of the new films. So we hope you enjoyed today. For us, it's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. For you guys it's probably like new year now so happy new year um tomorrow we have our christmas day which we'll take you along with too we're going to raglan road for christmas lunch and then i don't know what else we're doing tomorrow we may go up to winter garden and look at the lights tomorrow um so i hope you've enjoyed our vlog today hit the like button turn the notification bell drop us a comment below uh, let us know what you think to all those lights down at celebration hit the subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow for our christmas day bye bye